show me what are atypical thoracic vertebrae and typical thoracic vertebrae. This is a typical thoracic vertebra. It has two articular facets, two coastal facets on each side of its body. And this is also a typical one. It also has two articular facets on its body. And this is a this is an atypical one. It has only one articular facet on its body. This is also an atypical one. Here there is only one articular facet. This is also an atypical one. There is one articular facet on its body. Take two thoracic vertebrae and articulate them with a rib. The rib is, this is the left side of rib, a rib of left side. This is a rib of left side. What are the joints between rib and vertebra? The vertebral joint, costal transverse joint. What is the joint type? Synovial plane joint. What do you know about respiratory movements? They change the volume of thoracic cavity which then increase or decrease the volume of lung to create the pressure gradient need for move the air in and out of the lung. These movements change the capacity of thoracic cavity vertically, anteroposteriorly, and horizontally by movements of ribs and diaphragm. What happens in pump handle movement? Anteroposterior diameter of the thorax is increased when vertebrosternal ribs are elevated as their anterior end is lower than posterior end. When those ribs are depressed, sternum moves down and backward, reducing anterior posterior diameter of the thorax. What are vertebrosternal ribs? First to sixth ribs. How bucket handle movement increase the capacity of the thorax? When lower ribs are elevated, the ribs move laterally and outwards, increasing the transverse diameter of the thorax. Also, when these ribs are elevated, the longer lower ribs occupy the place of shorter upper ribs. So, it also contributes to increase the transverse diameter and the capacity of the thoracic cavity. What is the predominant muscle in quiet breathing? Diaphragm. Tell me the nerve supply of diaphragm. Phrenic nerve gives motor innervation for diaphragm. Sensory supply to the central tendon of diaphragm is also from phrenic nerve and to peripheral part of the diaphragm is from lower intercostal nerves. What are the root values of phrenic nerve? C3, C4 and C5. How these nerves enter to abdominal cavity? Left phrenic nerve pierces the diaphragm lateral to pericardium. Right phrenic nerve passes through caval opening. What are the other two main openings in the diaphragm? Tell me their levers and structures passing through them. 
abdominal aorta, thoracic duct, and azygous vein pass through aortic hiatus at the level of T12. Esophagus, right and left vagus nerves, esophageal branch of left gastric artery pass through esophageal opening at the level of T10. Does first rib move in quiet inspiration? No, it becomes fixed by contraction of scalenous muscles. What is the function of external intercostal muscles in quiet inspiration? They raise all the other ribs towards first rib. Why asthma patients feel comfortable to breathe when lean on a table or put their hands on their knees? Because leaning forwards and fixing arms fixes the scapula and upper limbs. So pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, serratus anterior and other accessory respiratory muscles are able to act on their rib attachments and expand thorax. What are the muscles come to act in forced expiration? Transverse thoracis, rectus abdominis, external oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis and latissimus dorsi.